nail polish collection and storage and I this video has been requested from time to time over the past year or so so I thought it was high time that I get it done so it actually comes it's perfect timing because I recently got new storage for my polishes For the longest time I was keeping them in this big basket and they were just piled on top of each other it was a huge mess it became like the different layers of the Amazon rainforest so I actually found these little mini milk crates at Office Depot and they have a couple other colors as well but the reason I really like these was because they actually I don't know if you can see these little circles on either side right here but you can connect them together like that and then it makes a little tray you can even carry it around by the the middle if I would pick it up by the outsides these two would just snap apart right away so I have to be careful about that and then it creates almost a little nail polish condominium if you will but I really like this because I can always um, I can separate them by colors, which I really like. I don't have to carry this whole shebang around with me. I can just, you know, take one little cube with me. Maybe if I'm watching a movie in the living room, I just want to paint my nails, something like that. I don't have to, you know, take the whole, this whole stack. If you have a ton of nail polishes, this might not work for you just because you might need more space. But I think it's a nice alternative to just having a giant Tupperware container sitting around. And I'm just going to go through and show you what's in each of these crates. Okay, so on this top section right here, on the left I have cool pinks, purples, and on this side mostly warm pinks, oranges, and reds, corals, that kind of thing. I don't really wear a lot of reds, but I do have a few in here. This is OPI Tasmanian Devil made me do it. It's more of an orangey red. I really like that one. One Hot Tamale, one of the original Revlon formulas. Fishnet Stockings by Essie and Jaguar are really great reds as well. Jaguar is cool. It has like golden shimmer running through it. So I don't know if you can tell, but those are really pretty ones. Um, I also have really been loving orange polish lately. This is one of the new Revlon Color Stay polishes in Sorbet. I love this one. It's like a creamsicle orange. And this is another orange um, Orange It's Obvious by Essie. So this is a really pretty one as well. I do have a bunch of different coral colors. Sally Hansen. This is a China Glaze polish. This one is called Flip Flop Fantasy and it's almost like a neon coral. I really love China Glaze for their bright colors. I feel like they have the best neons. This one's called Pool Party. Another pretty neon pink. These are two of my favorite nude polishes. This is Malaysian Mist by OPI and Sunset Sail by China Glaze. It's a really pretty creamy beige. It's a really good summer colors. And I just have a few other random corals. This one is Mod Square by Essie. Oh no, this is uh, Peach Daiquiri. This is one of my favorite summertime colors. Then over here I have, like I said before, my cool pinks and purples. Um, Mod Square. This is one of my all-time favorite really feminine girly pink colors from Essie. And I just feel like this is the perfect pink. It's a great year-round color. It goes with everything. I have a bunch of fuchsias. This is a Sinful Colors polish. This one is Dream On. I really like these because they have really unique shades. The formula isn't that great though because they are like 99 cents. I forget. I think I got that one at Walgreens, the Sinful Colors brand. This is Carry On by Essie. This is a really deep current almost a berry color. So that one's really pretty as well. This one is one of my favorites. This is Jamaica Me Crazy. It's like a really shimmery fuchsia purpley pink. This is gorgeous. I love this color. If you can get your hands on that one, it's really pretty. And this one is Playdate by Essie. One of my favorite purples. It's just so, it is a really playful purple and it reminds me of an Easter egg. Then I have Lilacism. This is probably another one of my all-time favorite colors. It's a really pale pastel purple and uh, Kind of a pastel lavender color. This is just really gorgeous. I feel like it is a really great year-round color as well. And then I just have some light sheer pinks from Essie. It's always good to have a few of these in your collection. Just gonna move all these colors back here. And in this tray on the right side, I have a random pink color in there for some reason. This is another Revlon Color Stay Polish. This is Wild Strawberry, the color I'm wearing right now. It's probably why it's just randomly stuck in there. These are some inexpensive confetti polishes. Um, you can find these at the drugstore for really, really cheap. And I don't have a ton of blue colors, but I do have, this one is another Revlon Color Stay Polish in Indigo Night. I love this color so much. It's just so vibrant and it really shows up really well. What I think is my signature nail polish color is this bright turquoise. I have a bunch of these polishes. I really do. I have so many like minty jade green colors. This is the Nicole by OPI 
polish in my lifesaver and this was a Justin Bieber polish this is the most perfect turquoise nail polish I love it so much and I wear it on my toes all the time in the summer this is four leaf clover by china glaze really like this one too it's more of a jade green then I have a few other greens this is gargantuan green grape by OPI and then I really like Navigate Her as well. It's more of a grassy green by Essie. So that's it for my greens and blues. And then on the other side, I just have metallic colors. I love this polish. Oh my goodness. This is Rage by Orly. It looks like pure liquid rose gold. It's so gorgeous on your nails. So I've been wearing that in a few of my recent videos. This is the Nails Ink Special Effects 3D Glitter in Sloan Square. This one is gorgeous. It's like clear lacquer with different holograph holographic glitter in there. So I really like that one. And this one's really cool too. It's kind of along the same lines, that holographic look. This is Galaxy Girl by Orly. So many different colors going on in that polish. This is a really nice basic white. This is White on White by China Glaze. And I know most people, it's like white polish. You either love it or you hate it. But it can be nice to have a bottle of white polish around to do nail designs and that kind of a thing. I also have some other like metallic -y, glittery polishes, Stealing the Scene by Essie. Really nice platinum metallic. This is Only Gold for Me Top Coat Sephora by OPI. This is a really pretty color. Okay, but that pretty much covers all of my nail polishes that I um, that were left over after I threw out the really old cruddy ones. And as far as a base coat and top coat, this is my favorite uh, natural nail base coat from OPI. And I always apply this under all of my polishes just because my nails are really susceptible to staining regardless of what kind of a color I'm using. So I always apply this underneath all of my polishes. And then the top coat that I've been using lately is my Essie. This is the Essie Good To Go top coat. And I really like it. It's very liquidy. I don't know if you can tell. It's very different than a lot of the other ones that I've used in the past that are more, more thick. My nails are chipping right now, so it's probably not the best example because I've been wearing this color for a few days, but normally it does work very well, adds a nice shine, and keeps my polish from chipping. So there you have it, my nail polish collection. Thank you guys so much for requesting this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.